that way we look like total pros. Okay. 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 <laughs> and with that said, let's get us started. <laughs> Good morning, day three interview series here at Quilt Marcus, Quilt Market, Kansas City. You can't tell we're tired yet, can you? So tired, I can't barely remember Chris and Arlene's name, so I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Chris Combs. Where are you from, Chris? For Sales, Indiana. Do you have a quilt shop? I do. <laughs> Chris is a little nervous, and I'm not supposed to point that out to the camera. Her buddy Arlene, a.k.a. partner in crime, has put her up to this, so Arlene. I'm Arlene Knudsen, and I've known Chris several years, and we've had a ball learning to do all kinds of things together. And, yes, we are partners in crime. So what was the most recent crime the two of you committed? Oh dear, I, I played the fifth on that one. <laughs> well said, well said. Um, okay, so are the two of you ladies uh, partners in the quilt shop? No, this is Chris's shop, oh. but I like to claim her as my shop owner. Fantastic, are you truly just a loyal customer? Do you work there part time? How, how does that work? She hired you one afternoon and she can't get rid of you? Well, we there's a group of us that show up and when she needs help, she can recruit us and we do that. So, but we're there, we're there every week every week depends on the day of what week it is depends on if it rains i live on a farm <laughs> chris tell me more about arlene's favorite quilt shop quilter's nook um, is a place where everybody gets together and we are a community they love to come and just sit and sew hang out drink coffee and uh, what, what kind of coffee do you serve oh just regular coffee well, I mean, is it a French roast? Is it a Colombian? Colombian, okay. Colombian, okay. definitely. definitely. I, I'm a French guy. I can't hold that against <laughs> everybody. We have our own opinions. Uh, classroom environment? Yes, I can see you 12 people in a class. Nice. And uh, we do a lot of different classes, um, anywhere from applique, paper piecing. Um, yeah. He wants to learn, I'm willing to teach. Right. Yeah, I'm not the best paper piecer either, Arlene. Uh, <laughs> well, what of quilting do you like to do? I like to do the scrap quilts, control scrappy. So um, I do that. I like the looks of those. I have not heard the term controlled scrappy. Can you give me more information? When I do the controlled scrappy, I, I'd like to, for instance, in a block like this, I would take the blocks and in these spots I would use the same fabric. But in the, another block similar to that, I'll use a different kind of fabric. So it's controlled within the block, but the blocks don't always match. Got it. Now, does that make your layout a little bit of a challenge? Oh, yes, very much so. And so it's like, well, who's going to play well together today? No, not today. So, yeah. I have to throw excellent questions in like that to remind everybody that I actually make quilts, and I have been at the design wall before going, oh, shh. Yeah. <laughs> Beep. <Yeah. laughs> uh, well, how about your what kind of quilts you need to make? I like the more modern quilts. My favorite, I think, is the paper piece. We do a lot of Judy Niemeyer and uh, uh, David Gilliland quilts, and that's my favorite right now. Right. And are you one of the instructors, or are you too busy at the cash register usually? Um, I usually teach okay. a lot of them. But I have some friends that will come in and teach too. Fantastic. Well, you ladies have done such a great job here. I almost hate to end the interview, but I know we all have things we have to still do today. I have the mystery box of questions, though. I'm not sure if I've warned you about this okay. or not. Okay. okay, so we are going to, well, excuse me. They're going to eat the question and answer it for all of you. Oh, well, we'll just let Arlene go first and get it out of the way. There you go. All right, let's see. Oh, I got to uh, set them so you can't see, and, pre and it doesn't have to be the first one. Anyone who wants right. What is your favorite sewing quilting tip? Um, my favorite sewing quilting tip is pressing. Making sure that you don't stretch that fabric as you're pressing it. So to me that, that makes a huge difference because it does change the size of your block. I see a trend starting. I have I've actually attended all of these interviews myself and that question has been pulled twice. Both tips re both were referring to ironing and pressing. So we must have a pressing situation out there that we need to tend to. Gosh, I'm getting better and better at this, too, if I may say so myself. Oh, what are you laughing at? It's your turn. I know. <laughs> what actor would star in a film version of your life? Oh, dear. I don't know. 
I like my question much better. <laughs> yeah, I, I like your question better too. <laughs> what actor would star in a film version of your life? I don't know. I don't know. It is a tough question. Um, Marilyn Monroe. Why not? <laughs> Ow. It's great to have friends that think so highly of you. I, I'll take that. I'll I would that. too. I'd take, take it and run. Do you want to throw a bonus question on the tip? You got a bonus tip you love in regards to paper piecing? Not in regards to paper piecing, but in piecing in general. It's all in the pinning. All? Is that an opinion? <laughs> it is an opinion. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Ladies, you're awesome. Plug your store one more time, please, Chris. The Quilter's Nook in Versailles, Indiana. Rad, thanks for being here. Thanks. Appreciate <laughs> it. See, that wasn't too bad, huh? No.